Hello everyone and welcome to this video. This is a little update because one particular YouTuber called Edwin Van has asked about the AC511 uh, speaker bar which is uh, this one here. Um, he's asked about the cable, said it's a bit short to reach his PC. Um, it is quite long, um, and I just wanted to do an update um, to advise you guys on how this works, how good it is, how it sounds, and how to install it in your computer. Because some people are experiencing problems, sound issues, um, possibly it not working at all, depending on what machine you're using it on. Um, and I thought I'd do another video to help you guys um, and hopefully update you on how it works. So keep tuned, keep watching and I'll tell you all about it. Thank you. Here you can see the front of the AC511 speaker bar for the Dell monitor. Now this particular speaker bar will fit other Dell monitors. The particular one I've got it works on is the 2714H. I've done a review on that monitor, if you'd like to check out my videos for that. Just to show you the side view, we've basically got a, a little dial for changing the volume up and down. On this end, you have a headphone socket and a line-in socket. What that means is, you can connect your device up um, using a smartphone, um, a mobile device, and you can play your music through this speaker bar but it does have to be connected to a power source such as a computer. On the back of it, it's quite simple. We don't have anything on the back of it apart from a cable, which is your USB cable. Quite standard. On this particular one, it has um, a cable length of 55 centimeters. However, I did purchase one a couple of months ago. And as you can see, it's about 20 centimeters long, this cable. Not very long at all. I don't quite understand why Dell has done this, possibly to save costs. Um, but this one was purchased uh, more recently. Here is the Dell speaker. We need to attach it to the monitor. So what you first do is take the sticky adhesive covers that's covering the slots up. Then, you just slot it in like that and then slide it across so it locks and then it's locked in place and I'll show you the back of the monitor okay guys we've uh, plugged the uh, USB soundbar into the USB hub in the back of the monitor and we've connected the uh, USB hub to the laptop so let's just play it Just wanted to show you the type of cable you, you will be using for the, the USB hub on the back of the LCD monitor. It's a, an A to B um, cable which is basically found on lots of different types of printers. I'm just going to show you some examples of video and music uh, just to give you an idea of what the soundbar sounds like. Right, the speaker's been connected, and I'll just play the music again for you so you can get a, a, an idea of how it sounds like. That's the little knob. Yeah. 